Cicero Epistolaiodaticum, Episode 27 Hoc si quanti tu aestime sciam, tum quid mihi alabar random sit scire possim. Now, Cicero is going to conclude the discussion of the things that have to do with Tadius, that is, the negotium, the business of Tadius, the negotium et tadianum, like so. And he says, if I should know, si sciam, if I should know, of how much you value this thing, then I could know, ski erdrapasum, or I would know what I must do, how much labor I must put into it, how much pains I should take. This is an interesting little sentence, and it's fairly complicated, so it will repay close study. The C clause, or the protasis, is quite simple. It's C ski um, right here. If I should know, I'm taking this as a future, less vivid conditional, sometimes called a should, would. It's a pretty awkward thing to call a conditional sentence, but that's one of the descriptions. It's a future, less vivid. So the protasis is ski, si, ski, um, if I should know. The object is these words, hoc, quanti, tu, and istimes. If I should know of how much, quanti, here's a neuter, singular, genitive of value of how much worth you consider istemes, and then the object is hawk. Istemes is a second singular, present subjunctive active. The first principal part of this verb is istemo, and the second is istimardre, so we know it's first conjugation. The E tells us that it is a subjunctive. So if I should know how much you value this thing, hawk, then we're going to get the apotesis. The second part, that's the then clause. So the protasis, the if clause, is si skiam, which we've already discussed, si skiam. The protasis, or the then clause, is possim. If I should know, then I could know. Ski re possim. The object of this ski re is this clause, quid mihi alaba random sit, which is an indirect question. Then I could know, ski re possum, what ought to be tried or must be uh, applied, how much labor, by me. So elaborandum here is the gerundive, that is the verbal adjective. It's from the first conjugation verb elaboro, elaborardre, like that. With sit, this whole thing is called the passive periphrastic. Remember I said there was a lot of grammar in this one. Passive periphrastic with mihi, the dative of agent the dative of agent. And uh, this is an indirect question. Cicero wants to know, how much effort should I put into it? But if I should know, si skiam, how much you value this thing, then I could know, skita possim, how much effort I should put into it. If you enjoyed that little video lesson, please go ahead and subscribe for us, click the bell and so forth, check out the other videos on this page, leave a comment, and please be sure to check out our Patreon page as well.